Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you back to the newest episode of our Southwest Zoo. Today, we're going to be putting in a display for one of my favorite types of kitty cats, and that is the Bobcat. Favorite types of kitty cats, because even though they're still kind of small, kind of cute, they're definitely willing to rip your face off with their sharp, sharp, terrible claws. So, uh, don't pet the kitty, is what I'm trying to say. Um gonna go in here. I did a little research for this one, and I noticed that a lot of bobcat displays out there um, sort of had, they almost looked like aviaries, where they were just kind of big cages with the top to bottom. Uh, so we're gonna kind of kind of re uh, recreate that today. What are words? Really? Who, who knows? Uh, we're gonna recreate that by using these uh, chain link fences. Uh, these are actually aviary fences. I believe they actually came with the Aves pack, now that I think about it. Not entirely certain about that, don't quote me on it. Um, going around here, and I'm going to create uh, also like a little walk-through area that's just separate. Like you have to kind of go into the section in order to see the bobcats. That's going to be the idea here at least. Uh, so we'll go ahead and also build in a little inside area for our cute little kitties. Cute little face small and kitties. And so bricks, 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 bricks. And we'll just throw a roof over here. Um, sticking with the uh, with the, uh, the fences that have the the bricks and the wood paneling to kind of tie it through to the uh, other parts of the fence. Uh, started to notice a pattern. I really do like those uh, fences that have the wood up top, but then like the brick pattern or whatever other pattern below hand. I'm starting to use those more and more. I find in the zoo. I just kind of like the aesthetics of them. Uh huh. And I'm going to leave a little area open here, so we can kind of put a display thingy in. Display thingy! Wave of the future! Now let's see if we can get, like, a big rock in here. Yeah, I hit him with a big rock. Yeah, just delete this out a little bit. Kind of tweak the ground to give us more of a entrance area, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket! Very good. We'll put up a little board there so we can do the signage. Uh, still still committed to putting signs up for all of our animals. Haven't forgotten yet. I'm going to forget, and you're going to be able to laugh at me and jeer me in the comments. But for now, doing doing pretty good. Doing pretty good with that. Okay, let's get back to the actual display here, or at least the uh, entrance areas to it. I'm going to put up these arches. Kind of make a little tunnel to go into or out of. And just make sure everything looks right. Yep, okay. Back to the top. And I hit the ground running. Did it make sense not to live for fun? Uh, no, I don't want, um... Do I want those? I think I do. I'm starting to rethink this whole area now. Uh, let's get enough room so people can walk through there. Uh, I'm going to switch it up to these, like, just regular gray stones. And we're just going to plant these guys at regular intervals, like so. Yes. And get these little thinner arches to go through the area. Why is it rounded on one side, not the... Aha! I, there's a little fence down there. Let's, let's get this fixed real quick. There. Now it's rounded on both sides. Uh, do I want it rounded on both sides? Maybe I want it straight on both sides. Yeah, let's actually make it straight on both sides. I'll just put a little border fence that way. And that'll straighten out that. And we can disguise it by putting up some more of these, like, pillory thingies. Maybe even put a second one of these little arches. Or you know what? Yeah, instead of, instead of the border fences, we'll put more of the stones, like that. Perfect. Planned it all along. That didn't just come up with that on the fly. It was one of my plans I set in motion many, many years ago. All right, building up the inside area of Bobcat here. <laughs> and, uh, need the right size. There we go. The right size for these guys. Put a little gate there so the cats can get in and out. Another gate here. Uh, door there so our zookeepers can get to the inside area. And we're also going to use the secondary path here so the zookeepers can get into the main exhibit. <laughs> Across there. And do we want a gate there? Maybe we should back the gate up a little bit. No, no, we want the gate there, but we want to put down an overhang here with this wood 
to make it look like a smaller entrance, and then we'll put a door there. Perfect! Fantastic! It's coming out marvelous. Alright. Now we do have a little... Hmm. I just realized there's going to be like a little lip area there. Um, I'll have to have a think about that. Give me a moment. In the meantime, we're going to put the roof on, like I'm doing here, Why I'm thinking. Putting the roof down. Putting the roof down. Putting the roof. Roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water. And I realize now I did this wrong. I don't want a slant there. I actually want a flat there. So I can put the... The... The uh, angled... Uh, wooden aviary roof up there. Like this. Actually, now I think about it, this aviary roof probably comes from Zeta Designs. Uh, the, if you just search for Zoo Tycoon 2, Ruben and Sophie, it's, it's linked below. If not, you just go to the Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki, like I always suggest. That's the best place to get your mods. Just it's your best place to get your mods ever. Really, if you think about it. Okay, what else? Uh, let's go ahead and get this canopy switched over to this for the guest. So it's kind of got a shady, but not the real shady. It's one of those imitation shadies, so it wouldn't stand up, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I want to change this fence here to that, uh, yeah, there we go. Love those little uh, border fences that come from the Australian pack. I'm going to fill up the area in between with some cristote bushes. Like so. I don't think those are going to cut off the view. Nope. They're a little too high. A little higher than I thought they were. Um, so we're just going to leave that... Let's leave it blank for a second. And let's go and grab a bobcat here. Using the bobcat from the Hispa Designs. Uh, it's going to be in the Hispa Designs... I say that. Maybe it's from the American Adventures? Maybe it's from... Like, okay, now I can't remember. Again, Zutaikutu Kutu down the wiki. <laughs> just search bobcat. It'll show up there. Um, do to do, do and these guys are more of a scrub land than a desert animal. So uh, it's nice that we're getting another biome in. And then, uh, we've kind of gone all desert. Well, I guess the uh, the pronghorns were a little scrub landy. But uh, these guys are a little more densely forested than that. And particularly in the back right corner, you can see I'm building up the foliage a little bit more than I did for the other exhibits. Uh, just to make it look like kind of their habitat almost recedes into a scrubby little uh, foresty area. Not a forest, because... That would be too, too, uh, too many conifers. That's what I'm going to say. Too many conifers, not a forest. More scrub rocks. Let's build in some sand here just to kind of give us a mixed area. I just don't like how the uh, dirt looks for the scrub or the uh, hot desert or the um, semi desert. So I'm going to use the hot desert sand to make it look like that's the area they're walking through. Get a little bit of a mixed biome. And just put in some food and some water to coax the kitties out. And we're going to want to put some things inside for them too. Like so. Just encouraging them to both come in and come out. You always want to do that. And drop some hay down so it looks like I'm giving them a nice and floofy bed. Paw prints things. Let's, uh, let's decorate the areas to encourage people to come in to the bobcats exhibit here putting down some paws. And we'll have walking back out again. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, the stride's going to change up a little bit for your bobcats. Well, that's cute. That's a cute thing we can do. Uh-huh. Uh, going to get rid of that Joshree. I'm going to go ahead instead and try to put a cactus in because it reminds me of the bobcat uh, that standing in the cactus both in the Disney uh, old adventure and on Bobcats. That would be amazing, but it just doesn't exist in this world, as far as I can tell. Um, speaking of things, let's, let's go here. I want to move this door over. Just more aesthetically pleasing for me. It doesn't really mess it. Right in the middle. It's going to let me throw these uh, cabinet trees and stuff. Put, uh, put a pin board there. In case they decide to figure out a conspiracy theory, they can bring in some, uh, you know, red yarn into their work one day. Um, also, let's make a little 
or your for our zookeepers to sit and do their stuff, take their breaks, crush, you know, things you do at work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it for? Yes. Okay. I just don't want like it's all the inside, so I'm gonna lay down this wallpaper. Oh, so, I should do this more. It does. I need that long. Put it in. But I'm gonna see the going. I uh, best looking at the exit. What's the size of it? Just a wee bit. All right, let's get this fixed out. Lovely beautiful. And get it centered. Beautiful. 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 It's beautiful. Ah, 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 ah. Get it. Nailed it. Got it done. And I don't like it. All right. That beaut was not beautiful at all. Instead, what I'm going to do is kind of see if I can't make a rounded off area here. Like so. It's not going to curve. There we go. Got it to curve. It was just, I didn't feel like, I felt like the butte was going to make it. The reason I ended up deleting it there is when I went to the, uh, went to the zookeeper mode. I felt like uh, you couldn't really see the entrance to the Bobcats or the main display, so didn't want to obstruct the view. That's why I'm going with that change there. Also going ahead and putting in our Bobcat sign. Bobcat fits much better than pronghorn. Much fewer words, probably why. Uh, I want to put that up top there so we also get the, uh, the bricks on top. And I know I have this beautiful... Well, let me first get this shape the way I want it. So it's a little less intrusive by making it uh, trapezoid. And the Joshua Tree on this side. But I was going to say, I know I have a very nice uh, bobcat statue. I think the intent of the statue is that you should put it in your display so you have your bobcat like walking around on a log or something. I don't like to do it like that. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top of our sign here once I get this area built up. Um, what else? What else? What else? Get, get some rocks here, like that one. That one's good. That's a good rock. I got a rock. <laughs> yeah. And just going to go ahead and build up this trail here so you don't see the bobcats from the wrong side if you're walking down the pathway past the pronghorns. And add some bushes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this so far. This is pretty good. Just kind of build it up and make it rocky. And while we're here, you can see I also fleshed out this area. I'm going to use this area just to kind of build up a uh, little snack bar area uh, for guests entering our zoo. The chief reason I'm going to do that here is, again, just to make it so uh, people coming into the zoo don't see the backside of the bobcat display and thus kind of ruin the illusion. There's the statue I was talking about. Let's go ahead and put him here while I've got it. And I'm going to put in a couple of these, like, food stands, again, from the Mexican Buildings Pack. Uh, same things that we used at our entrance to get those wonderful Adobe-esque buildings. And then I'm going to use this uh, lighter wood walls to just completely block out the view. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? What else? What else? Let's go ahead and throw down... See if I can't get... I think the actual snacks here, yeah, they don't quite line up. But I think that other one that's just kind of an overhang, a shady area. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Um, let's go ahead and back these up while I'm thinking about it. Give us more room. But uh, that overhang, shady area, I can probably... I want to get one there. I can probably just dump one of these... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to complete my sentence. I'm going to dump one of these food carts, like, right underneath it, like so... So that you can see here, um, anything else I should throw down there? I'm just checking. Anything else I should throw down there? Well, let's just kind of build this up, put some of these boxes here. And, of course, some picnic tables, so people have places to sit. 
like so, like so, so. And I think we're gonna have to flip them around straightish to get them to work the way I want them to. Okay. Oh, a donation box. Donation box is a good idea. One there, one there, so you can donate on either side after seeing your bobcats. And let's also get the pathway going from those front entrance toilets to our new uh, eating area. Spread that out a little bit. Because it makes sense to put the, uh, the bathrooms next to the place where people would go to get their snacks and stuff. Um, can I round this? I want this kind of rounded out if possible. Um, what do I have to do? I don't think I can. I think that's the best we can do. So let's go ahead then and sort of build up sort of a faux wall between there, uh, between these two sections using the uh, using the rocks like that. Oop! I landed on the roof. Uh, between them like that. Yeah, you just cannot see the snack guys behind it. They're a little too little, and I don't want to like have to build. A, I guess I could probably build a uh, low hanging. Um, elevated, uh, well, what are words today? A low-hanging elevated path and set them on that, but I don't think it would be the exact right size, so I'm not going to kill myself trying to get that, particularly on camera, since I decided not to test this area first. Um, but again, we'll just go ahead and build up. Uh, I don't like how that looks. Oh, you know what? Let's use one of those Jeeps I have. One of these guys. Yeah. Get, which, which, which one looks best? These look like vehicles you would take out into the desert, right? Maybe I should use one of these buildings. Just trying to find something interesting to put in between the pathway that goes past the pronghorns and our food area. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the I think the oh that I think that's the best. What's, what colors do we have? Yeah, I kind of like the tan one. Okay. And we'll put another big uh, rock thing over here. Just again, to kind of isolate this area. Just a bit. Mm, nothing's perfect. Well, that's pretty close, though. And just have it jut out a little bit more. Smooth it out, fix it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. So we did that. Let's go ahead and finish off our bobcat exhibit. Anything else we need to put in that area? Oh, you know what? We have these uh, large saguaro cactuses. Let's put those behind the wall, like so, because they're going to stick up, and they're still going to look pretty good. Okay, back to the bobcats. Uh, putting a little pathway on for our zookeepers. Um, get to their bench. And I'm going to go ahead now, I realized I can do something a little bit more fancy with the uh, ends of this cage by uh, flattening it out and then using the corners of the aviary pack to make sort of rounded corners. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put a flat fence across. Then you just lay down a flat elevated path and you put the appropriate corner pieces in. Delete the ones you don't need. And there, now you got kind of a rounded corner. And now we're ready for our zoo to our walkthrough. I don't know why I'm about to say the whole thing. Let's go ahead and go past our entrance area. This will give us a nice view of our new snack bar area with some lovely snacks. You can see the top of the uh, cages for the bobcats, but I'm not super concerned with that. It's not going to upset my day. And yeah, it does a pretty good job of sort of separating the paths there with the Jeep and those barrels. Ooh, hot dogs. I love me a good hot dog. You know, there are, there are plenty of bad hot dogs out there, but if you ever get a really good hot dog, that's, that's something to smile about, if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, back down. Let's let's stop. This isn't the this isn't the hot dog two uh, walkthrough. This is a Zutanku two walkthrough. So let's go around the corner here and take a look at this beautiful bobcat sign, complete with bobcat statue. Pretty sure that comes from the American Adventures pack. Uh, which, if you don't have, why not? What, what are you doing with yourselves? Uh, here is the entrance to our actual bobcat area, and if you follow those cute little paw prints on the ground, you'll see we have a nice little cat climbing uh, out there. Oh, they're there, right there. There's a beautiful bobcat. Camera, zoom in, enhance! And, yeah, that's a real good. That's a real good one. 
Love that model. Looks great. Even does a good job of getting the tail the right length, which um, I don't know what they're modified from, but good job, whoever whoever did the programming. If it was Jimmy from the American Adventures pack, oh, big yawn! Yeah, if it was Jimmy from the American Adventures pack, good to you. If I've got that wrong, I apologize. Good to you. Uh, doing great. Yeah, and I really do like the look. Uh, I don't mind the narrower pathway since this area is strictly for viewing the cats. Uh, usually I try to build everything as a two wide, but I'm fine with that. It looks good here. And let's go ahead and make our way out and around so we can view this from the zookeeper side. And you can see our zookeeper went right to uh, playing Angry Birds on the bench outside instead of doing their job. So we'll go in here. And I don't see anybody on the inside, which is good, because I placed one on the inside here when I was placing the actual animals. So they can get in and out, is what that tells me. Oh, no, there he was. Never mind. Taking a nap in the hay the whole time, so you couldn't see them. He was there the whole time. I also remembered to put a little gate here this time, which I usually forget, so that zookeepers can get in there just in case there's a cat that's not cooperating. But, um, come on, I want to see you go outside. No, you're coming back for another nap or to get some food. Anyway, let's go ahead and go into the actual exhibit then and see the other two cats. Should be two. I put down one male and two girls, so... One male, two females. Oh, there they are. Hey, basic bobcat, too. Scratchy, scratchy. Oh, Coyote 1 is now pregnant, so that's working. Oh, you're taking a nap right there. Good guy. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's playing around in their cat climber, but uh, I've experimented and I know that works, so... That's, that's a pretty good, pretty simple, but um, not entirely disaccurate to the actual displays I was looking at Bobcat uh, display. I'm pretty happy with that one. Pretty happy also that we were able to put in that uh, food area next to the toiletries. Uh, you know, make everything nice and simple. You know, no reason to fill you up and then make you walk away around the zoo. Anyway, that was the Bobcat exhibit for this Southwest Zoo. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, why don't you go ahead and prove it by clicking on that like button. If you want to keep up with this series or any of the other series on my channel, there's always that subscribe button too, I would recommend. It's the easiest way to keep up with this series or any of the other amazing series on my channel. Of course, you also want to click on that bell to get your notifications whenever I post. I do post erratically, and I do not apologize about that. But anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today, and this is Zoo Tycooner Steve saying goodbye.